Good morning. Good Sunday morning. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a good weekend. Hope you have plans to honor your father today. Living or whether he's passed, we still honor those who had a part in bringing us up. And uh, so I, I pray that you have time to honor your father today as, as we see Father's Day. But don't forget your spiritual fathers, too. They play a role. Fathers and mothers, they play a role, too. So if you have a spiritual father who's who's spoken into your life and, and given, you know, just been instrumental in your growth as a Christian, as a believer, you know, honor them today, too. Maybe that's your pastor. Maybe that's an apostle you know or something. But honor your, honor your fathers today as, as we set aside this day to honor fathers for the united states so my thinking this morning has nothing to do with fathers actually actually it's a it's a scripture we talked about not very long ago but when i woke up this morning i you know me my brain was going everywhere i've got all kinds of notes and i was studying preparing for uh speaking engagement i've got coming up here soon so i was kind of preparing for that but i kept coming back to this thought in my mind so in my mind that wasn't mine i promise it was mine <laughs> and so um it's in Romans 14, 17, and it says that uh, the kingdom of God is not in eating and drinking, but in righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. And see, this means a lot to me because it's like we get the whole deal, and that's where I got the whole nine yards. Uh, you know, we get the whole deal when we get God. We've got everything we need first peter tells us we have or second ben peter tells us that we have everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of christ and so let me look to let me turn to that one if i think i have my thing yeah here it is um second peter one says okay second peter one two says this grace and peace be multiplied to you that's where i've been getting the little prayer i do at the end uh, that kind of is kind of a declaration and a blessing if you want to call it that way however you want to call it um grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of god and our lord jesus christ as his divine power has given us to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through our knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue uh, and then it goes on to so many other other things that's, I mean, there's a whole lot more to that scripture. But what I want to pull out is that he gave us everything went through through Christ. When we know God, we have everything. Now, and that's an intimate relationship, just like, yeah, I know he's out there. No, that's not going to get you. That's that's probably going to get you into heaven, maybe. You, if you know he's there, just knowing he exists doesn't. You, you want to build a relationship with him. You want your faith in him. You want your trust in him. You want to pray to him and, and have a relationship with God. Trust in the sacrifice of Christ, etc. Okay? But this, but this is our knowledge of him, knowing him, talking to him, letting him talk to us, learning how to listen to him, knowing him. He has given us, his divine power has given us everything we did pertains to life and godliness so he took care of our eternal destination but he also gave us everything we need to walk this life out he is a complete god or maybe i could say he's a god of completeness right he completes me he completes us he gives us through our knowledge of him his divine power and his and knowledge of him gives us equips us for life just living this life which can be rather hazardous at times and for godliness so we also hey he took care of the present and the eternal just knowing him takes care of all of that it takes care he walks through this time through time with us he walks through this life with us yet he also made a way for us to spend eternity with him when we trust him and know him intimately we trust the, that christ came and died we, we believe the word is true believe every ounce of it is true he equips us to live out this life but he also equips us for eternity so he has it's the whole deal it's so another whole scripture. That's another scripture that says it's the whole deal. So we have righteousness, peace, and joy. Righteousness, because we have right standing with God when we trust Jesus to be our righteousness. First Corinthians one thirty says He's our righteousness. He became for us righteousness. I can't remember what else it says. Let me look real quick. I looked that one up this morning too, though. First uh, Corinthians one thirty. Let me go over there real quick. Says that he, but of him you are in Christ, who became for us wisdom from God, 
and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. And there, there's another scripture that says the whole deal. I'm going to have to write another 21 days. That's three scriptures right there, right? <laughs> of how we have, a, there's a completeness in God. But he didn't leave us abandoned in time. He secured our eternity. Revelation, I think it's 13, 8, says that Jesus, the lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. So before Adam and Eve ever sinned, before God ever said, let there be light, he already made a way for us to get back to him. He took care of our eternity before he said, let there be light. But he didn't leave us abandoned in time. He gave us what we need to walk through time with him too. He's here too. He's not waiting in eternity. Uh, in one sense, we can say he is waiting. He can't wait. He's as excited as we are to, to let's see, Dennis Jernigan has a song, or let's see, Fanny Crosby says it too, but I can finally, uh, Dennis Jernigan says, I can finally put sight to this faith I've embraced. I think that's in a family, Fanny Crosby song somewhere. I'll finally see it. He's he's anticipating our entrance into eternity where we can spend eternity with him. He's excited. He can't wait till we get there. But he, that doesn't mean he abandoned us. He's not just waiting for us. He's waiting in hope and expectation and, and joy and can't and this just this excitement. But that doesn't mean he abandoned us in time to figure it out on our own. So the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy here and in eternity. He covered it all. He, he took care of us spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally. He's, he's got us. He's got us covered. We've got the kingdom of God now. We can start walking in it now before we enter the eternal kingdom that was there before he said, let there be light. We'll get there. He made a way for us to get there. But he didn't say you're on your own till you get there. He gave, he fills us with the spirit. And we have, when we, through faith, we trust him. And through faith, we walk out time in the kingdom of God, in this righteousness, because we have right standing with God now and forever when we trust him. We have peace now and forever. We have peace with God so we can spend eternity with him, but he also gave us peace. He gave us peace. Remember, let it rule in your heart. He gave us peace so we could walk through time without his presence, right? Righteousness, peace, and joy. Oh my gosh. Joy is so important. You see, the pandemic tried to strip our joy, tried to strip our peace. It's tried to try, tried to strip us of all the our sanity, right? And yet here we are, we've come through it, we've lost loved ones, but we're still here. And God's kingdom still says there's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. There's righteousness, peace, and joy in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. So we can start experiencing his peace now. We need peace now more than we're going to need it in eternity. In eternity, peace will be reigning because the Prince of Peace is reigning there. And we just have to learn to live under the, his rule, live under the king, the rule of the Prince of Peace. Let his peace rule in our hearts. I just talked to myself happy, y'all. I really enjoyed this. This was, this was good stuff. I hope I gave you something to think about today. I hope I gave you a uh, reason to be joyful for now and eternity. We don't have to wait to experience his love. We don't have to wait to experience his peace. We don't have to wait to experience his joy. We don't have to wait. He's with us now. He equips us for now. He gave us what we need to walk through time and to spend eternity with him. Isn't that amazing that God just covered it all? Just boom. Here you go. <laughs> it was taken care of. I just love God. He is just so amazing. I hope you know him too. I hope you love him too. I hope you know how much he loves you right here in this ugly spot in time or pretty spot in time, whatever you're dealing with today. Trust him for today, and I pray that grace and peace are multiplied to you today. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.